my question when adam alayhi salam and eve were living in heaven god instructed them not to eat from the tree but satan deceived them to eat from that tree which resulted in god cursing them and led them to this earth when the mistake was done by adam and eve and not us then why are we on this earth instead of being in heaven brother suleiman from uae has asked a question that adam and eve they were instructed by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when they were in heaven to not approach that tree it's mentioned in the quran it's also mentioned in the bible but the satan deceived them and they ate from that tree and with allah sent them on the earth but the brother said that you know allah cursed them and all of us are here we should have been in heaven i think the brother is confusing between the story of the bible and the quran this incident is mentioned in the quran as well as the bible overall it is similar but if you analyze there's a great difference between both these stories according to the bible the incident is the same in the quran and the bible it's mentioned that allah told adam and eve peace be upon them that not to approach that tree but in the bible it says in bible and quran both it says that they sat in temple with them when bible it says then eve tempted adam and because of eve adam and eve both ate the fruit from the tree and god cursed them and mentioned in genesis chapter number 3 that almighty god says you woman you shall bear labor pains and bear birth in pain so in the bible pregnancy is a curse this is the details of the bible and the full blame is put on the woman that is eve and then it says that every human being is born in sin because eve tempted adam to eat the fruit and both of them ate fruit allah cursed them they came on this heaven and they came from heaven onto the earth and because of that every human is every human being is born in sin now in the quran there is a world of a difference outline is the same yes almighty god told adam and eve may allah be with them both may allah be peace with them both allah told them not to approach the tree satan tempted them but the blame nowhere in the quran is the blame put only on eve may allah be peace with them the blame is put on both more than a dozen times they are mentioned this incidents the blame is put on both adam and eve both of them there is one place in the quran in surah taha where it says only adam is referred to peace be upon him but as a whole the blame is put equally on both of them Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes them out from the heaven and puts them onto the earth. But here in the Quran it says that both of them asked for forgiveness and Allah forgave them. So they asked for forgiveness, Allah forgave them and then after them they, they obeyed the teachings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Islam we don't have the concept of original sin. The Quran says no bearer of burden can bear the burden of others. That means just because Adam and Eve made a mistake we are not born in sin it's wrong that is the concept of the bible in islam every child is born sinless he is born masum and allah says in the quran in surah mul chapter number 6 and verse number 2 allazi khalaqal mauta wal hayata it is allah who has created death and life to test which of his good deeds so we are not born in sin at all that is the concept of christianity that's also false concept if you really go into the detail the bible doesn't say that but that's what is the teaching of the church what the bible says in ezekiel chapter number 18 verse number 20 the soul that sinneth shall die the iniquity of the father shall not be the, the iniquity of the father shall not be on the son neither the iniquity of the son shall be on the father but if the son comes back to the straight path he shall not die so they're putting a full stop where there's no full stop the soul that sinneth shall die it's only the starting part of the verse So even according to the two teachings of Bible there is no concept of original sin that is the concept of the church so that they can control the masses anyway coming back to the Quran the Quran disagrees with it many places Allah says the bearer of the burden no bearer of burden can bear the burden of the others so in Islam 
we are not here because Adam and Eve, peace be upon him, made a mistake. This was, Allah tested them, they asked for forgiveness, Allah forgave them, they, he is a messenger of God, they will go to Jannah for sure. Now Allah is testing us. And the Quran says, no one, no human being shall enter Jannah without being tested. And Allah says in several places, Allah will test you with, with fear, with hunger, with, uh, with the loss of life. Sorry, Bakra chapter 2 verse 155, Allah will test you with your children, with your wealth. This is the test. So Adam and Eve, peace be upon them, they passed the test. Have we passed? We don't know. So now we are here undergoing a test. So to say that if Adam and Eve wouldn't have approached from the tree, approached the tree, wouldn't have come here, is totally wrong. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's way of testing. Allah wants to test us. How would he have tested us? We don't know. We will be tested for sure. Without being tested, we cannot go to Jannah. This is one of the ways. So when we are born, we are born sinless. Allah has given the guidance. Now we have sent the last and final messenger. We have to follow the guidance given in the Quran, just say hadith. We will be tested and we are undergoing the test. What we have to do is see to it that we read the Quran, read the hadith, implement on it so that inshallah in the next life we go to Jannah. Hope that answers the question.